This is the first official Smash Ultimate tier list, which released in 2023. Bam! Now this is the second version of the tier list that released recently. Today I'm gonna go over the changes, my thoughts, and some spicy hot takes. If you're new, drop a sub and enjoy. So we're gonna start it off with the bottom of the list and make our way up to the top. So obviously, Ganondorf is the worst character in the game. Not much of a debate here. This character is straight booty. I mean, they made a new tier for this character. I don't think King K. Rool is that bad. He's still ass, don't get me wrong, but bottom three is kind of crazy. I would have Little Mac in D tier though, just from the fact that in tournament, the character can be scary. I feel like Dr. Mario could be higher. The character is so scary. I get his recovery's bad, but he low-key has good moves. Great out of shield, great projectile. When he gets his ass off stage, it's game over. All right, I have no idea why Isabelle is higher than Villager. I feel like Villager is just a better version of Isabelle. They're basically the same character, same flaws. Casuals are gonna look at Kirby and say, all right, this tier list is complete trash. There's no way Kirby is bad. But trust me, the character is not good. Maybe he could be like D+. Plus. Sure, you can do up B spams against your friends, but at top level, this character is not gonna get the job done. Simon and Richter has godlike ledge trapping, great combos, but the character is so technical and not worth the time at all. When you could just play a character like Steve, I remember when MK Leo played Ike, people thought the character was so good, but the character was never actually good. MK Leo was just different, and it was early meta. You could kind of do anything. Early meta is basically fun needs. I feel like Bowser Jr. could raise higher. I don't think the character is that good, but if we saw more reps of the character, I feel like he could be a little higher. Man, Donkey Kong, I think Donkey Kong's good, bro. Hikaru, he got third at UFA. I think the character has underrated potential, but I mean, he's a heavy. He's a big body with a bad recovery. He's gonna get destroyed in disadvantage. Also has the scare factor. Maybe I'm dumb. I see no Robins. I have no thoughts on that character. I think the character's pretty bad. That's my thoughts. Bro, Mewtwo is not this bad. Bottom 20 character? Hell no. Worse than Duck Hunt? Hell no. People think the tail hurt box is way worse than it actually is. And I mean, a Mewtwo player recently beat MK Leo at a local. I mean, he was using Rob, but come on. You saw a bit of the potential there. Duck Hunt is kind of just mid. Ridley needs to be heavier, man. That's his main fly and why he's down here. We Fit is one of those characters that if like a top player used him, people would have a totally different opinion on him or her. Really depends on what all you use. That deep breathing thing is just broken. Tweak has low key inspired me on Banjo. I think the character is pretty good and a video is coming soon of a tournament run using Banjo and Kazooie. Lucas, another one of those characters that just takes way too much tech skill for a little reward when you could play Steve. Again, bro, Steve is just killing the game. Me Gunner is low key on the rise. So Lucario is for some reason on the rise. Moved up about 10 spots and I'm not really sure why there hasn't been like a top player that started cooking. I mean, Armadillo is kind of nice. I think the character is pretty underrated, but the fact that you need to lose to win is never going to be that consistent. Man, Bowser's going to continue to fall. And I think Jigglypuff could rise. We just need Hungrybox to pop off. Yeah! So now Link is the worst Link out of the three. He was the worst in the other tier list too, but general opinion, I feel like Link is considered to be the best or the second best. There's basically no one playing this character. So much potential with the down B, but like he's, he's a slow character, bad frame data, but it's way too much effort. Marth is one of the most diversive characters in Smash. Some people think they're really bad and some people think they're really good. The tippers are just too inconsistent for me. Krom is one of those characters that if he had a good recovery, would literally be in the S tier, bro. Man, Pichu's fall from grace needs to be studied. Bro is the best character and now he's in the same tier as Duck Hunt. Bruh. One of the panelists put Incineroar in their top five. That is blasphemy. The character is scary for sure and gets better in tournament. Revenge is broken and he's a cheesy character, but top five? Ice Climbers is one of those wild card characters. If they have a good bracket, they can win the whole thing. But some characters is just very hard to win against. Sword characters in general, manhandle Ice Climbers. I love seeing the character pop off though. Big D, I love it. Wait, Meta Knight, Inkling, Mega Man. I feel like those characters all could rise. Maybe I'm too optimistic on 
on Ness, but the character is very good. I've never been a big believer on Ken. Kiro is one of those characters with good RNG is like an S tier character. <laughs> Whoa. Bad RNG is D minus, so you just gotta round it out. But also, you're going to get your stuff. You're gonna get bounce. You're gonna get your power ups. And you have overall pretty good tools. Yeah, B minus, I can see it. Rosa, bro, it, like the buzz has been putting stuff in Rosa. Wait, bro. <laughs> B minus is pretty good for Byleth, Pit, Captain Falcon. I feel like Captain Falcon could go down. He's kind of just falling off in the meta. Luigi is a great tournament character. Okay, so Sephiroth is going to continue to fall in my opinion. That character is not good. You kind of need to lose to win and Wing isn't even that good. I mean, you know what Sephiroth wants. He wants his back airs, his F tilts. He's not scary at all. I feel like me, Brawler, could continue to rise. Same with Falco. Greninja is kind of like Sephiroth off in the fact that they're just both pretty predictable. I've never been a big believer on Olimar. I think Ryu is really good. I don't think he's gonna move up in the A tier, but he's pretty good where he's at. I feel like Sheik, on the other hand, could definitely rise. I remember Zachary had Sheik as the best character in the game, which is crazy now, because I feel like people have been sleeping on ZSS lately. Terry is one of those characters that could just fart in your face and really just make you smell it. What? Corn stocks are on the rise. She's moved up over 10 spots. Same with Bayonetta. People have gotten to see what these characters can do. And yeah, they're both pretty good. I could see them both rising. I don't know what people see in show. I don't believe it. Pokemon Trainer is also getting slept on. Pac-Man's Loki falling off. People just need to play like DD, bro. DD is a degenerate when playing Pac-Man. Bro does not care, and that's how you need to play. I'm not personally gonna watch any of the sets, because that is straight up boring, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Now for my main, Mario. Or at least one of my mains. I basically play the whole cast. I feel like this is a great spot for Mario. Definitely has flaws, but he also has the X factor. Wolf has fallen over 10 spots, and I don't see it. I think the character is still good. This is a great spot for Wario, Roy. I feel like Roy could fall off or rise, depending on Cola. I personally think the character should be down a bit further. Sora is definitely gonna rise. The character has insane combos. I remember that time Meister beat Onan at SmashCon, and they had a parade. That's the potential where Sora is at. I could see Sora being S tier, honestly. Those loops are straight up unfair. Pikachu is also fallen a little bit, but come on. Pikachu busted. If Shiny Mark could compete more, you would see. I agree with Palutena, Samus, Yoshi, Cloud. I could see them going down a little bit, but overall, that's a pretty good placement. If Spargo didn't play Cloud, trust me, people would think the character is A-. minus. Min Min, on the other hand, could definitely be higher. I might just be a hater, or maybe it's a skill issue, but this character is so annoying to fight, is so broken, and the recovery isn't even that bad. Kazuya's S tier, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Now in S tier, so Joker's fallen he was top three now he's just top 10 hell no i mean i can see it there's some characters that i would have him above but you know what i can see him being just number 10 the fact that mkleo has been doing worse is definitely a factor here diddy kong's broken definitely has some bad matchups these characters all kind of belong together they all have a really good rep at top level and they can be solo main although they do have some very hard matchups and they're combo game is elite. Rob is in a pretty good spot. I would have him above Snake. Sure, he is a big body. He's going to get comboed. He has flaws, but all you need is one hit and you can kill. You also have a broken recovery. The character is just a better Kazuya. I feel like Aegis is going to continue to fall off. That character's recovery is so ass and very exploitable at top level. Don't get me wrong. The character's still busted. Definitely still top tier. Now for two characters that rose so much. I don't really know why Snake is this high. I would definitely have him in S tier. Maybe top of A plus. Number four? No. It's not like someone started destroying people with Snake. The character has some bad matchups like Ness, but Snake can be really creative and that's definitely a factor to why he's ranked so high. He's also just really explosive. No pun intended. The pun was totally intended. I can see it. Don't get me wrong, but I also don't see it. Whereas as Mr. Game & Watch has had a player start dominating with the character. Mia? I mean, the dude barely ever loses. 
and he makes this character look busted. You can just mash and win. And I'm not really gonna go into it because when I talk about Game & Watch, I get depressed. On to the next character who is also gonna get me depressed. In the top two characters, the only S+, plus, the same in the last tier list. Actually, wait, Sonic Loki had a glow up. But yeah, Sonic is definitely number two. Steve is definitely number one. They're kind of interchangeable, but I mean, Steve's potential is unreal. Steve mains are kind of going easy on us right now. With Sonic, the only flaw with the character is their weight. Realistically, you shouldn't lose. And Steve, you, you know this character is busted. I mean, this says enough about Steve. Stay focused on Fortnite. Man, you know what I'm saying? Bill, get a lot of materials. Crank, crank, crank! All right, so that's the full tier list. There's definitely some things that I personally don't agree with, but overall, this is pretty accurate. And I mean, the pros know more than me. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the tier list in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, drop a sub, like all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.